Hey guys, I'm going to show you a brand new feature that is going to make it so much easier for you to launch new campaigns and edit your existing campaigns. So you know that Socialmonials gives you a lot of different configurations for your campaigns. That's a good and it's a bad for some people because while it's really powerful and it lets you configure exactly how things look and what functions your different campaigns have, um, it also can make it a little confusing for some people. Like we've had questions on chat, like where do I change this word? Or if I need this to say something different, how do I do that? Um, now it's a lot easier because we are launching what we're calling a visual editor. So I'm going to create a campaign and show you how this thing works. First, I'm going to click add new and let's create a photo campaign. So I'm going to filter for photo. create some rules here and uh, everything else looks good on this. I'm just going to launch it with all of the default settings and this takes me to the design editor which can be a little overwhelming, right? You've got home screen. This is what people see when they first um, visit the page. Um, you've got entry screen. This is what people see when they are entering their own photo to your contest. And finally, you have the thank you screen, which is what people see after they submit their photo. So what I want to do is show you how the visual editor works. So right now, as you can see, when I hover over any part of this, the header has always um, been kind of click to edit, but we've made everything clickable that's on the campaign screen to make it really simple for you to figure out either how to change something or hide it. So for example, you'll notice that I'm um, hovering over the header of this campaign and this symbol has appeared. Well, this hides it. So if I wanna hide the header, I can click that and now the header is gone. So if you wanna know where that appears, just go back over to the header area and you can make it reappear. So everything that you hide or change is still being done in the same places that you've gotten used to using. We've just made it a whole lot easier to access those features. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to add this header back. So as I scroll down, you'll notice that this button, before to change this, was kind of a pain. You had to go and kind of figure out where in the left nav to change this. Now you'll notice that when I hover over it, I can edit it. I can either click the edit button or I can just click inside this editable field. I'm going to change this to upload your photo. And now without navigating anywhere, I was able to edit the text of this. So photo contest entries, you'll notice I have two options here. I can either edit the text of this or I can hide it completely. So I'm going to change this to check out all entries. So I can change that text or hide it very easily. In addition to every single piece of editable text being able to be clicked on and edited, you can also navigate using clicking actions. So anywhere on the screen here, I can click. If I click down here in the content area, watch what happens on the left navigation. Did you see how it changed the navigation to expand the edit content area? Because that's where I clicked. If I click in the header, watch what happens. It expanded the, op the edit header area. So now it's navigating to the place where I need to go to get all of the detailed settings exactly where I want them. Of course, since this is a content block, it's also going to give me all of my HTML editor options and things like add a time, a count on timer or a call to action button. Those are still in the places that you have grown used to finding them. I wanna show you something else real quick. Even down here, as you can see, these little buttons here are even sh um, changeable. So you can change share, you can change the word vote to something different. And this is a bit different than the edit language that you're all familiar with. You know that you can go into edit language and change the text of what things say. And it doesn't have to be changing the text from English to Spanish or some other language. You can also use this to change it from deadline to submit to 
deadline for submissions. Like if you just have a preferred way of saying it, you can do that. And the reason I'm showing you this is because all of these new click to edit features work in conjunction with the edit language. So what happens when I click on, um, like let's say check out all entries, for example, when I edited this, this text is actually stored in the edit language section. So if you're wondering what's happening behind the scenes when I make a change here, it's being stored in edit language. And the reason that should be exciting to you is now you can go ahead and do a complete translation and you'll be able to, after the fact, click on that item and within your own language, make edits because our editor, our, our translation engine is Google's translation engine. And while it's very good, it's not perfect. Or you might have a dialect that's just a, a little different than the main dialect that Google offers. So now you can go in and make tweaks in real time right there on the spot. You're not navigating around wondering where the heck to go to make the changes. So I want to point out a couple things within this. When you're changing a button, it's pretty obvious that you just click within this um, highlighted area to change the text. But what if you need to use this button to navigate within the editor? You can still do that. If you check outside of the editable area, but inside the confines of the button, it will actually click the button and you can go on to the next step and edit that way. So here we are, I'm gonna switch over to the entry screen now. So as you scroll down a bit, you'll notice that even this title above the photo area can be edited. But also what you can do is click inside any of the fields and look what it does. It takes you right to the edit form area so I can start changing field colors and text colors. But not only that, if I want to add a field of information, now I can click this edit button and without even having to navigate over to settings, the form editor has been brought right into my design editor so I can just get to work stay in one place and finish up. So now I can add city if we need that crucial piece of information for our local campaign. Save it. So let's name this form with city field. Now we have a city field for our form without even having to leave our design editor. Um, if you wanna change the browse, to upload, go ahead and do that. You can, you've got the control now. So what we've done is basically removed all of the excuses for you guys, I apologize for that, but you need to get to work. All of these campaigns, there's 64 campaigns that are built as templates for you. Just create one of those templates, make a couple of tweaks in your design editor, and you're, you're capturing leads, you're engaging your audience, it's time to get started. Every single aspect can be clicked or edited you can hide your um, footer content blocks uh, without having to navigate over and try to find anything. It's all there for you. And the same thing works in your thanks, thank you screen even. You can go down in this beautiful um, share section. If you don't like the way we've said this, you can state this a different way. It's no problem. So we look forward to seeing what you guys create with this. I think the design editor is much better now. It is much um, easier to understand where things are when you need to change something. And I look forward to seeing what you do. If you have any um, questions, just go ahead and hit us up in the chat area on the right. Thanks a lot. Uh, one other thing I wanna show you, because a lot of people um, have the capability to hide branding. Now, just click this hide button and you can get rid of the social monials branding. Um, rules, if you want to change the, the way we call rules, rules, we can say global rules, whatever you want to say here, you can do that as well. Okay, I promise that's the last thing I'm going to comment on. Um, go ahead and hit us up if you have any questions. Good luck to you.